Hi, welcome back. Today's episode is about agglomerative hierarchical clustering. The idea about this is to build some clusters using hierarchies in Python. For that, we will use SciPy models and also scikit-learn. Okay, why hierarchical clustering? Okay, because as we will see, we're going to use something called linkage and then dendrograms to build the real to find the relations between all the elements in our data. Okay, for that, I'm going to use uh, some data called wholesale customers data. As we can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight columns uh, about information uh, wholesales the number of elements, for example, uh, our first customer bought, fresh, meal, groceries, frozen, the turn your paper, the delicacy, coming from region three and in channel two. Okay, so we're gonna use these eight columns or eight features, attributes, to try to find a species of uh, relation between them and how to group them. Maybe we will see, or we're going to try to find what those, those groups and why to use clustering, right? Is for using this information for future classification. Once we have done clustering, we can proceed for classification and the uh, results of our clustering is going to be our training for classifying. Okay. Okay, important, it's important to know that when we are using clustering, we should, and we have to normalize data. So why is that? Because because on all, all the variables are the same, they have different magnitudes. So we will try to reduce these magnitudes to, for example, for the intervals from zero to one, and to avoid the bias when we are calculating distance between uh, different observations, and Avoiding these biases, or the idea be behind this is not to bias towards the variables with higher magnitudes. And I'll, once we have run this using uh, the module scikit-learn, as we can see here, data scale, normalized data, we can see our new data, our new scaled data as this. You can see the different uh, features, values between zero and one. Okay, all the columns. Okay, now our uh, data is going to be data scaled. And we can proceed to create something called dendrogram. Dendrogram is a diagram representing a tree where all these branches are the distance between all the observations and the dendrogram, it's the dendrogram branches go to different sites trying to find the closest points or closest observations among our data. Here, the idea is to try to find a, something called linkage, a linkage between each observation where, of course, the smallest branches means smallest distance between them. And one of the most used method for trying to trying to create to create that link be between these different patients is that method warn. The method warn is used for reducing the variance among the groups. Okay, and among all the, the points or observations inside each group. Okay. Uh, once we have find we have found the links between each observation, we can create the dendrogram using for that the SciPy module using cluster hierarchy, okay? And you can see here that the different distance is gonna give us different branches and different groups. For example, here, if I cut my dendrogram into parts, it's about a distance 10 here and here. Or also I can come and say, okay, no, the distance that I'm going to, to use, or I'm gonna cut my, my tree, my dendrogram, is gonna be around 3.5. For example, one, two, three, and four four different groups. Okay, the idea behind hierarchy, hierarchy is to find this 
mm, the, or the best distance we should use. However, the agglomerative clustering doesn't provide us the, the best answer. So the best answer is going to be for us, or the, the answer or the result that best fit for us or is feasible for us. Okay, so we it's for us to choose that distance or the number of clusters. For example, here I can see one and two. You could say, okay, two clusters works for me, or one, two, three, and four, as I said before. Okay, I cut up around here. Okay, we is for us to decide which is the number of cluster, but of course the dendrogram help us to realize which could be the best the best fit or the best number of then uh, clusters. Okay, and th for that, this is our question, which is going to be the number of clusters, I, I, as I told you. For more information about this, you can find this web page, this link for more information. And you can read about more methods and in uh, creating dendrograms and linkage. Okay, okay, now here it is our the algorithm agglomerated clustering. We have to tell Python which is the number of clusters would, which we would like to work with, using for that that distance be among all the points. And in this case, I'm going to work with a Euclidean distance. Of course, there are more distance. Remember, there are Mahalanobis, city block, and so on. OK? And once we run this line, we can have the predicted label for each of them. Okay. Here we can see there are two clusters, one is zero, one is zero. So on for each observation, the first observation belongs to the first or for the second group, and the fourth observation belongs to the first group or first cluster. Okay. I can also show you this. There are three groups, zero, one, and two now. Okay. And we can see with our data scaled what's going to be the the different representation only using of course a two-dimension plot. Okay, it's gonna be difficult to use all the D8 columns. However, we can choose and try. Okay, I'm gonna use milk and grocery. As you can see here, it's not easy to understand where the two groups, the yellow group and the green block in the green group uh, are the difference, of course, because as I said, it's 2D, so it's more complicated. M maybe if we add one or two more dimensions, this can be a different group, okay? But the third group we can see is very differentiated from the other two groups, even if we're working in the plane, okay? and but. It's more complicated. So you can see if, if we will use the the data without the scaling, it's more even complicated to see the difference in the clusters. That's one of the reasons we should use or we uh, we, we have to use the scale data. You see the distance between all the points here and the real data without scaling. Okay, but well, okay, you got the point. If I Try now two clusters. You will see how the scaled data prints out. As you can see, it's more is marked, right? That means that means that this group, the yellow group, as we you saw in the previous plot, it was totally different than the two clusters were here. Okay, and let's see in the non scaled data. Okay, a mm, little bit more complicated to see, but I repeat, because it's not scaled data in two dimensions, okay? But okay, what's the point, okay, with the agglomerate clustering is about to find some distance and to see where my tree, my dendrogram, could create a structure behind this observation's distance and what could be my best cluster, my best number of clusters, okay? There is a high hierarchy create based in the distance on the, in the observations. That is agglomerative clustering using high hierarchy for our purpose, okay? 
and we will continue with uh, example two in the next video.